How's it going everybody? Got another Miata video for you today. So today we're doing a few very small and easy modifications to the Miata here. These are just little, mostly aesthetic things, but also a few functional things as well. Let me go ahead and show you what we're working on. Uh, we're going to do a tow hook first. So here's a tow hook that I got, which I think just looks a little bit better than the stock ones that come on the car. So we're going to go ahead and install this. We're going to take off the double ones and put just this one red one on. This is really just for aesthetics, but I like the way it looks. So we'll do that. Then we're going to go ahead and install this gas pedal extension. Uh, the stock gas pedal is a little far uh, from the brake for good heel-toe downshifting. Uh, it can be done, but I find that my legs always are kind of in an awkward position in order for me to get a good heel-toe. After doing some research, I found that this would actually be something that would make that a lot easier. So I got the kit from Flying Miata. There are some cheaper kits out there that are uh, 3D printed, but I like the fact this is metal and I like supporting a company like Flying Miata. So I got this, we'll install that. And then finally, I've got another very small, minor cosmetic modification. I've got these sun visor block off or delete plates. I'm going to go ahead and delete the sun visors because uh, they're kind of ugly and they don't really serve any purpose in the Miata. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off with the tow hook first, then we're going to do the uh, gas pedal extension, and then we'll finish up with the easiest one, which is these little block off plates. So let's get going. Now for the tow hook, we're going to do two things. First, we're going to have to remove these two existing ones, the baby teeth as people call them. We've got one over here and one over here. Uh, it's just hold on by a few bolts inside kind of under the bumper here now i could probably do this without lifting the car but i think i'm going to lift it just to get better access and also to make filming a little bit easier so we're going to go ahead lift the car up put it on jack stands and then go ahead and remove the bolts holding these guys on i think i'm going to put the tow hook on the left side here i think that'll look better than the right side but i don't know yet i'll figure that out so let's go ahead and get that started Alright guys, quick PSA. So, I'm jacking up the car here, and you'll notice I have the jack stand. I'm gonna put it under this pinch weld right here. This is the correct place to jack up your Miata. You don't want to jack up the Miata using these frame rails right over here, okay? These are not good jack points. As you can see, they're very hollow and thin, okay? and if you do do that, then they will bend like this. Now the previous owner or some technician or something before I bought this car um, use these as jacking points. As you can see, they're all kind of messed up. So don't do that, okay? You can hammer these back into position and I might do the frame rails, the flying Miata frame rails in the future. So I'll tackle that when I get to it. But this is definitely something to kind of pay attention to. You don't want to jack the car up or put a jack stand under these because they will bend as you can see right here. All right, so now we have the car lifted up, and if you look behind the bumper, inside this kind of fender liner here, I kind of finagled the camera there, there we go, right in there, right in here, this right here, that is the inside of the um, tow hook. So we're going to have to remove those, there's two bolts there and one on the other side, you can't really see it from here, but it's, it's there. So we're going to have to remove those bolts in order to get the tow hook off. I'm a hard time. There we go. All right, you can see it better here. So we're gonna move these bolts right here. Now, I can probably reach them from here. I might want to loosen up this fender liner right here to give myself a little bit more access. But I'm gonna try doing it without that first to see if I can get in there. So let's go ahead and do that now. Here's another view of the tow hook bolt. You can kind of see them in there, right in there. So again, there's gonna be three of them holding them on there. I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to attack them. I might be able to attack these front two with a wrench, with an open end wrench or a box wrench, and then take the last one from inside. So let's see what works best.
All right, so toe hook is done. Now that was um, easy, just a little fiddly. You have to kind of really get under there and get your hands in the in the right locations or the right positions to get the bolts out and back in. I had to use a mixture of a ratchet and sockets and the open end ratcheting wrenches. Those made it a lot easier, but eventually went in. Now note one thing that there's four holes, but actually only three of them are threaded. So you'll kind of figure out which one's not threaded. It, I don't know why there's four holes on the tow hook. There's four holes on the underside of the car, but only three are threaded. So only three go in, torque them down nice and snug. Now let's move on to the accelerator extension. Alright, so here is the kit that comes from Flying Miata. You get a few things. You get some instructions for installing. Center punch, roll bit, okay. You get your extension. Which looks like this. It's uh, made of aluminum. Nice and light and shiny. And then you get this little hardware kit here, which we'll use to install it. As you can see here, this is a really nicely machined piece. There were a few other options uh, that were made out of 3D printed materials, but I, as I'll show in another video, I actually prefer this for a couple of reasons. Install is pretty easy. You take a 9mm either wrench or socket to hold the nut behind the bolt, slide the bolt through, tighten the nut, finger tight, and then you'll go around and tighten them down fully using the included hex key as well as your wrench behind where the, uh, the bolt is. Once you get it all tightened up, you are good to go. I'll do a full review of this accelerator extension, but I have to say I'm very impressed and actually very happy I went with it. The sun visor delete is even easier. All we gotta do is lower our sun visor, locate the two screws that hold in the sun visor plate and the sun visor. We'll unscrew those and then put in our new 3D printed sun visor delete block off plates. Very simple, took about three minutes. And that'll do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. I think for my next major project, I'll be tackling the soft top. As you can see, it's definitely seen some better days. So I'm still deciding what top to get, but I'll be doing that in the near future. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you've not done so yet, and I'll catch you next time.